In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to work with some of the SI prefixes. To start with, what's that? what does SI stand for? That's the Système International. It's the French acronym for uh, the International System of Units, which is used everywhere except in the US. And even in English, we use uh, the French version SI, we don't turn it to IS, International System, but it's System International. So I have here a couple of the common prefixes you will find every now and then. They're used with SI units, but they're also used with uh, non-SI units. If we start at the top, here for example, we have the capital G, which stands for Giga. You probably have heard this as one gigabyte. Or one GB. Now what is the meaning of this? Well, one gigabyte is equal to 1000 megabyte, which is going to be the next one. That means this one here, I could just erase my giga and replace this by 1000 mega and multiply it. So what I get is 1 times 1000, 1 gigabyte is 1000 megabyte. Good so far. Let's go to the next one. The mega. One mega is thousand kilo. So if we go again with computers, if you have, let's say, 100 megabytes of free space on your hard drive, it's not as much anymore. You can simply replace the mega here by 1000k and you get that we have 100 times 1000 kilobytes. Next one, the kilobyte or the kilo for the prefix around. Uh, one kilo means simply it's thousand. Well, you might have heard if you continue with IT that, well, the one kilobyte, what's one kilobyte? One kilobyte is a thousand bytes. Now, I want to change it because the kilo, you, pro you probably hear this more with kilometers. So what does one kilometer stand for? Well, the kilo here is the thousand. So this is one times thousand meters. So one kilometer is thousand meters. Next one important ones is the deci. deci. Here it really helps if you know some French uh, because what does the D stand for? It's like this, 10. This 10. So it's 1 over 10. An example, for example, you could have a glass of two deci liters. Liters not really SI unit, but uses the same style of prefixes. So what does that mean? That this is two times one over ten liters. So zero point two liters is two deci liters. Next one, the C stands for centi. Again, French helps. The number cent, centi, cent. So this is one over tau one hundred. So it's hundred. So let's go with a centimeter. So what is a centimeter? A centimeter is literally one times one over thousand, uh, one over hundred. Sorry, I'm replacing the c with its equivalence, the one over hundred meter. So zero point zero one meter is one centimeter. And then the last one in this table, the M, is the milli. Mil from French again. Uh, so you have one over thousand over here. And what should we use? Let's go with milliliters again. So let's say one milliliter. How, how much is one milliliter? Well, the M stands for one over thousand. So one milliliter is equal to one times one over thousand liters. 
Now there are many more. Uh, just look them up uh, on the internet and put them on a cheat sheet somewhere or on the long run you might want to memorize them. These are probably the most common ones like the Kilo, the Deci, the Centi and the Milli. There are even some Greek symbols that are used but don't get too confused about it. For example there is the this little thing, it's called a micro, like a big like here and then a little bit light, like a U, micro. And this is 1 over a million. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. And then the next lower one would be the nano. Now we get back to Latin letters, nano. And French can help again because nano is like 9, so that will be a 1 with 9 zeros. So this is equal to 1 over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine zeros is to nano. And as I say, there are many more. Uh, just look them up on the internet and kind of make yourself a little cheat sheet. Sometimes uh, the, the calculators even have cheat sheets included uh, on the back somewhere. Uh, so in my class, you're welcome to use those cheat sheets. If you're with another teacher, ask your teacher if he would allow.